What I can say about uh, the allotment and gardening, what you learn with that is patience. Because when you start, you're keen to see things happen, and then when you realise that doesn't happen, you kind of set limb get into the way you just how things grow and how long it takes them to grow and then once a day grow you, you, you get a great enjoyment with it and then uh, Can I make sure it's not worthwhile aye? Because you like to learn it and teach. Oh, certainly worthwhile to me. I'm a lot fatter and I'm a lot happier with getting out there and mixing mm -hmm. with youngsters. It's been great for me. So is that a hobby? But that hobby also you're teaching the young as well and how something you enjoy and the kids are getting oh, feedback, uh, I mean off well, you know? I actually started as a favour. I went down there to build a greenhouse and I thought, three days. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a long wow. time ago. So. Right. Aye, uh, it's, it's, it's a hobby. I could say it's a hobby, mate. So. But it's a hobby that you've took. Well, all we've well, well, we done a wee bit of. Look and being an outdoor me. person helped as well. That means I get out and about. And that's great as well, you know. Look at the achievement from the beginning. You get three days building the hut up to. Right up to now, the place is looking great. I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs>
That's right. I mean, a lot of them would have been prisoners, wouldn't they? I mean, Cathy and quite a few that are uh, quite infirm. It was a, definitely a godsend. I'm the older generation. We've got the young here, and it's nice to know that they've gone to pass on their knowledge to others. I mean, you probably somebody will come in, you'll be able to help them. That's the big word, help. I've known them for these few years and it's been an excellent thing. We swap skills, Mary and some of the others have taught them to knit and we've been taught how to text and use computers and all sorts of wonderful things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I've been to the schools with the primary children and um, they, they're really interested in what it was like when we were young and we've been telling them how I, I used to live uh, with no electricity or TV or anything like that and they were really, it was really good fun because some of them were saying, were you in the Titanic? <laughs> and other ones were, were they asking us if we were in the war. <laughs> I think you'll need Fought to the let them know you lived away in the country or the yeah. time you're from the Victorian era. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your door? Yeah. Yeah. That's your door. Hey, dude. Yeah, well, this, we just kind of helped him do it a wee bit. Didn't we? Hello. Hello. What are you boys doing? All right, who's the best? Me. Hi. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh. <laughs> We wouldn't be able to do these things. We forged ahead with things and realised, you know, we, we, we uh, got our communal gardens up and running. And then realised we had a problem because it was very difficult for us to manage a garden the way it should be managed. Although we can do some stuff, the children have stepped in and do the hard work and it lets us enjoy the nice things of a garden. Mm -hmm. So thanks a million Playbusters, you're real stars, aren't they? Oh yeah, Thank definitely. You. Before I started the Playbusters as well, I think it's gave me a lot of self-esteem. Because I think when you're used to being in a single pair with two kids on loan for a lot of years, and you get into a rut, you get the, you know, you're on the day of keeping the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, and when I came, I think it was an open night, and it was actually introduced next to course. Um, and then all the different things, you know, just a couple of things were mentioned that you could get involved in. Um, and I feel, felt that it took me a wee while, you know, good maybe I called it off try an hour, and it took me a wee bit of time to get the, the, the courage to, yeah. to go and do something as well. Um, I love that. I think it lifts your spirits, and when you'd you'd go back, out, you'd feel quite happy, and you're meeting other people, and you know everybody's quite, and ha you know everybody's content and happy and things like that. And it does it rubs back off into your home life as well. Um, and then I went on I done that to it went on to college and things because. It's quite interesting as well as a lot of things that they deal with poverty and in the East End and then everything's all kind of related so I like to... Had you done that debate course? Yeah. I've had the... No, no. no. And I think the opportunities I've had to do all the awareness courses. Um, the, what did I say? I've done the suicide awareness yeah. one, I've done the confidence building one. Got loads, loads that I've done. So I've done it for that one. It's about just to get the drive to get up and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make that first step. Yep, and it's really after that then I was like, oh, what else can I do? And not anything, 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 anything I'll get involved yeah. in. Again, it was the school point, it was something you wanted to learn, no more you wanted to learn, the mere competence and drive you've got to be. Ah, as you're yeah. leaving here, a smile on your face, going, what can I do next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm that way as well. Granted, I'm um, one of the ones that's I'm a an active person, but I was the same. Once you're at a job and the things you're trying to motivate yourself 24 hours a day, and you do get in a rut because it's the same thing morning, afternoon, and night. 
you go to your farm in the morning, you try to find something to do in the afternoon, but there's not a, a lot here to do in the house. But you can see you can always afford to go to the house, people say go to these clubs. These clubs weren't there at the time, you know what I mean? You've actually got to go out there and find the clubs, the clubs won't come to you. Mm -hmm. You've got to go out there and find it. And I'm thinking, no, I don't want it. I'm just quite happy sitting here. You do get bored. You do need to get there. I'm only one that can motivate yourself is to make a change as yourself. You get up and go. You go out there. <laughs> do you feel you're happier? Do you get more confidence or anything like that? Yeah, because I feel like the play buses is like now like a family. Like, cause last week um, I was at the guitar club and somebody said, um, somebody was like, cause like they were a bit shy cause they were just new there and all that. And one of the adults there said that. Um, just think it's always like one big happy family and like you can trust us and that and I was just starting to think and like play buses is a playground because you walk in like say you're sad you walk in here and you walk back out with a smile on your face. That's true. Mm -hmm. So play buses has changed me quite a lot. One of the groups that I get involved with is the NIFS, which is neighbourhood improvement mm -hmm. and it's local kids from the community and all the mixed use groups and we go clean the streets. Now a lot of these kids now the get looked at as if they see now why why are these kids out doing that and why the council aren't doing it. If these kids didn't want to take part in it, they wouldn't be there. They have got so much dedication. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you, you start to do different wee things, it's absolutely great. I mean, I've never, never met Audrey and they were pals. You know, I'm sitting among friends here by the way, that's the way I look at it. And, uh, Keep me, they so keep me fat. If you by the street, now you would take his passers by. That's right. And you were all made out of the team.